Boom! New Blu-ray review for you guys today, talking insane. Maybe I'm insane, or insane. I don't know. If you guys miss this movie, I think a lot of people miss this movie in the theaters. This movie is directed by Steven Soderbergh himself, the guy who's done the Oceans trilogy, it did side effects, he even did Contagion, which I think that movie's underrated as hell. Insane, it stars Claire Foy. This is actually my first time ever seeing her in it, but let me say, now I want to watch whatever the girl's in, because she gives one of the best performances I've seen so far this year. She's also really damn good, not just really good in here, but Jay Farah, who's SNL alum, was also really good in here, and Unsane, if you guys don't know, this is the film that they talked that was gimmicky, and some people didn't really give it a chance because it was filmed on an iPhone, and I have to say, when I watched it in the theater, because I did review this film, it was very gimmicky. But it wasn't. It didn't come across that way, and I really appreciate it. It did a little bit jarring at first, but once you kind of get into the story, you totally forget it's an iPhone. Yes, if you start thinking about it, you're like, yeah, this is an iPhone. But I have to say, t bringing this home, popping it in, and watching it on Blu-ray is completely different. Yes, you can tell it's filmed differently. But I give Steven Soderbergh that credit. It's not a gimmick for me. You know, I film with an iPhone. This video is filmed with an iPhone. I love filming with iPhones. Only see why Steven Soderbergh did this, and I'm curious to see whatever next film he directs if he does it with an iPhone again. And given we did get Tangerine a couple years back by the guy who did Florida Project, I think his name's Sean Baker, he also directed the film and used an iPhone camera. So it is possible for more directors to keep using this. But I'm saying, uses that camera gimmick in a way that, again, I'm saying gimmick, but, but it's not a gimmick. It it works for the story because the whole film is, you're pretty much trying to tell, is this girl crazy or is it not? Because she ends up in a psychiatric ward and you're like, what, where, why, why is this happening? And the way in the twists and turns that this film develops are so unique to say the least. And watching it again, it still holds you on the edge of your seat. And using the iPhone, you can totally tell in the Blu-ray, they really enhance the different coloring effects that they have in the film that I even, I remember being not as good on the big screen, but going into a smaller screen on a 55-inch Blu-ray, just watching on that 55-inch TV, it, it really works better on a smaller screen, if I'm being honest. I thoroughly enjoyed this film way more the second viewing than I did in the theaters. Liked it a lot in the theaters, but now this film, I'm kind of on the verge of loving it. But if I am being honest, this is a Blu-ray review, and I have to be honest, I'm very disappointed in the bonus features part. I thought the bonus features would be 10 times better, and let me tell you, they are just eh. I thought the bonus features could be better. There's only, like, insanity thing, and it's it's not the biggest thing. There's no really deleted scenes. There's nothing to really gravitate to to explore more of this world. And that's what kind of sucks because I wanted more behind the scenes kind of stuff going into the featurettes and talking about Steven Soderbergh's choice to use an iPhone. You give it, I can go on YouTube and look this up, but I wanted to see more of the behind the scenes stuff. And I, I think this would have been a cool film if he had someone filming him like as a bonus feature and showing everything behind the scenes of how he used the iPhones, how he did that, because it is a very intriguing aspect to see, and I wish the film would have carried that. I wish the Blu-ray would have carried that, and I think it would have made for a better Blu-ray. But I still, if you miss this film in theaters, I can't recommend enough. Go pick it up. It's a fantastic film, and I wanted to revisit Unsane again because it is such just a special film. And it's one of my favorites of this year, absolutely. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are, so comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are of Unsane. Again, if you guys didn't check it out yet, I do recommend picking it up either on Blu-ray or renting it on VOD or just buying it online. It really is a worthwhile movie. I really recommend buying it on Blu-ray, though. If you've never bought a Blu-ray before and you're still DVDs, you got make this film and convert to this because I, I can't imagine watching this on DVD, especially with being filmed on an iPhone. The Blu-ray really opens up all the color effects, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm a cinephile, I'm a nerd to that type of stuff, but guys, tell me what you guys' thoughts are of Unsane, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on that, if you're new here, consider subscribing, also liking this video, and plus hitting me up over on my social media links, so we can talk over there about more geeky stuff, then go hit up Sandwich John Films as well, because over there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news and movie reviews, but guys, my name's Zach, that's Unsane, I might be a little insane, and you guys all have a great rest of your day.